they join, they come in the big blue button. And here I've got like the student on the right and the teacher on the left. I'm gonna show you some capabilities that go beyond what you would see in a video conferencing system. We can do video, we can do screen sharing. A big blue button is a virtual classroom. I'll show you what that means. First off is we got a really nice whiteboard. So as you annotate the slides, you can see the annotations going here on the right. We can do a multi-user whiteboard so the students can also annotate. So here, if I start drawing, you can see the annotations shared. And this makes some really nice capabilities for visual assessment. So if I go to something like, for example, uh, a map of the world. So let's say I'm teaching some history of Europe and I ask students, okay, I want everybody to point at where Paris is or where France is. Here, if I click on it, I can see as a student instructor where the students are pointing, but the students can't see each other. So it would give me a sense of our students picking up or do I need to put more work into describing it? But it's a form of visual assessment. It could be a map of a bridge. It could be an architectural diagram. It could be a map of the world. Really easy to do visual assessment. So another form of assessment occurs when you want to get students to see if, you, if they understood the content. So here, I'll go back to this question. Let's say I've been doing some stuff on uh, some physics. And you'll notice here the question is, did Einstein discover the atom true false? Well, as any system, I could probably start a poll. So if you're using like a Zoom or Teams, I could start typing like, did Einstein discover and so on. And you'll notice it takes a few moments and then I can start the poll. With Big Blue Button, we can do something better. So here, I'm using the words true false, and Big Blue Button has already read the text into memory for screen readers. And it says, I think you're trying to do a true false. So if I click true false, it'll come up here and it will actually give the students the prompt. Did Einstein discover the atom true false? So if I click false, the answer is false. I see the answers coming in live. And I'm, only able, I'm able to do a poll with a single click. Let me show you some other examples. So let's say it's a multiple choice. What are the rings of Saturn made of? A, B, C, D, E, of course, iron, granite. The answer, of course, is gummy bears. But it looks like, hey, Big Blue Button says, I think you're trying to do a five choice poll. So if I click on it, it'll again, it'll come up with the questions and it gives the answers. And here I'll just choose one. So it's gummy bears. There's, this one here, I put two question marks in, and this tells Big Blue Button that this is a multiple response poll. There's nothing special with this slide. This is actually on the Google Docs, and I just simply downloaded it, uploaded it to Big Blue Button. And when in Big Blue Button, I can do like zooming and that, really nice annotations. But here, it shows four things, and I will choose again the smart polls. And this now gives me multiple choice. So, so I can choose sodium, calcium, I can just submit. All right, so as I'm doing this, Big Blue Button is actually tracking all the activities. So here I'm gonna bring up the Learning Analytics Dashboard. So I just did this, I went here, and I chose Learning Analytics Dashboard. This brings up a live dashboard that shows me the students who were in the session, how long they were there, their activities, webcam, messages, emojis, and raise hand, and this is live. So for example, if I go back here as a student, and I raise my hand, in a moment, this will show up, and it gives me a visual live tracking of what students are doing. So I also have this activity score, which allows me to rank students, and I can see which students are active or not. The activity gives me a proxy for our students engaged in the class, and I can use this to pick the students, or to see the students that are maybe not as engaged as much, and encourage them to be more active. This is the difference between passively watching a lecture, with the instructor sharing the screen and talking, actively engage doing things. Breakout rooms, multi-user whiteboard, shared notes. The polls are also captured as well. So as the instructor, I don't have to remember what students did, we'll do it for you. I'll give you a bit more of a visual. So here I've got a screenshot showing the polls. And so take this as an example. Imagine I've been in a session, I'm halfway through it, and I've done a bunch of polls. This will be with smart slides. The bold shows you the ones that are most common. And I can see this, this person here, Sam, has only responded to three polls. So if during the class I said, hey, everybody, it's important to respond, and Sam, look, give a chance to respond. It's okay if you get the wrong answer, but just do it. Sam would be like, what? The teacher's aware of me? Yes, because the teacher can see the actual analytics based on engagement, not on webcams. That's what makes Big Blue Button different than a video conferencing system.